Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll do an unboxing of the Labor Day sale that I got. I mean, last week. So here it is from Cobra. Cobra firearm. So this is my second Cobra. The first one is a Cobra Denali. I got it on sale for 99 bucks. Okay, plus shipping. This one I got for 119 bucks with free shipping. Okay. Let's see what's inside. I know you're not interested in the box. Okay, paperwork, lifetime warranty. Okay. Made in the US with lifetime warranty. Okay, and this warranty, warranty instructions. Okay. And contains a lot of warnings. Warning, 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 warning. The warning. Okay. Here is the gun. Uh, my friend, uh, my friend's first reaction, and me too. When I saw it, it's is so cute. See, so cute. This is my first Derringer. Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. Okay, here is the gun, and we'll take a closer look at the gun. This is a matte finish. It's a matte stainless steel finish. I saw one video when the guy um, removed this finish using sandpaper. Okay, if I, you want a bare stainless look like this, okay. But the gun itself, it looks cute and beautiful, especially the grips, rosewood grips. And this fires the 38 Special, so um, you can buy them in different calibers. But this particular model and finish is on sale for 119 bucks. Okay, so. This is how you open it. Flip this lever all the way, okay? Tilt the batter, ba barrel, and what I have inside, the barrels are snap caps to eject the rounds, okay? I was surprised that a 357 snap cap would fit, okay? It fits. Load it up. Lock it using this same lever while you hold it down. Pull the hammer back all the way so it's cocked. You fire, you push the trigger going down, not going that way. So, okay, there you go. So, don't ever dry fire this. Um, even especially when it is in the safe position so push for safe so there's a hammer black hammer block okay it will ruin your hammer so that's the safe position push it back then again all the way in I will not even use my trigger gauge for this it is more than what more than I think this is more than 15 pound trigger pull so cute and beautiful that's the two reasons why I, oh plus it's cheap okay two reasons I bought this gun so comparing it to my Ruger LCP 380 my carry of choice so it's clear it, I know that this is uh, before I bought this I don't that this was small but I was still surprised when I saw it 
is smaller than I thought. Okay, so can carry it. It will disappear in the palm of my hand compared to the LCP 380. Okay, personally, I do not and I would not recommend this as a self defense gun or a carry gun. Maybe a, uh, a last resort or uh, something to keep in your bag out bag or uh, bag out vehicle, trunk gun. Okay, since it has only two rounds plus very, very hard trigger pull. So why did I purchase this gun? Like I said, it's beautiful, it's cute, it's cheap. So for um, a good conversation piece or as a novelty to add to your collection, why not? Okay, for 119 bucks, shipped, okay, and it fires the 38 special round, okay. Um, I like everything about it except, I mean, aside from the trigger pull, but I noticed that the extractor, this piece, is very flimsy. I hope this is aluminum because if it's just a cheap alloy, this is uh, the part that has the potential to break. See, it feels and looks flimsy. But other than that, I like how the gun looks. So check out my future video on this gun. I'm gonna shoot it in the range and see if I like it, okay? The way it looks. So I have the snap caps. All right. Thanks for watching guys.